Hey everyone, Cruising with JT here and welcome aboard the Navigator of the Seas. Today I'm super excited to give you a tour of an ocean view balcony room which is perfect for you and your family and friends on your next cruise aboard this beautiful ship. So let's check it out. This video is sponsored by MEI Travel. Be sure to reach out to them via the contact information in the description below for all your travel booking needs. Thank you so much and have a great day. All right, the room number is 7628. Again, this is on deck seven on board Navigator of the Seas. And as you walk in, you'll see it's very spacious. And right away, as I close the door, you'll see your assembly station and basically, you know, any exit plans, things of nature in a case of a real emergency. Um, we are on deck four C16, so basically just outside the, uh, you know, it's outside the ship. So basically I'm on the deck, right? That's where your assembly station is. And then of course you have a light switch here. Now, one thing that's unique about Navigator of the Seas is that this room does not require you to put a key card to have electricity. It's just automatic. So it's a slightly older ship compared to some of the newer ones I've been on, but still pretty uh, nice that they have this feature without the room key card. Because so many times I'm like, oh, why is my light on? Oh, that's because the room key is not there. But here, the room key is not required. As I flip around, you notice here that um, uh, for our room, we have a queen size bed or two twins coming in the king. And then of course we have this couch pull out bed as well. It's like a sofa bed, which I'm actually sleeping on um, because my wife and daughter are over there because it makes it more comfortable. You'll see some uh, towel animals our room store had recently put on for as well. But um, yeah, so this is a quick perspective. It is dark outside, so you won't be able to see the full balcony experience, but at least I'll show you the space. It is the last night of our cruise and finally getting around to do our room tour. So um, let's start over here. I'll show you the, the closet space. You can see here, plenty of closet space here for your belongings. Uh, we got some hangers and some other cool stuff. All of our items right there. And of course you can put your luggage right there as well. And I'm gonna actually close this door and show you guys the perspective of this room. Plenty of storage space. Each of these drawers are available for your clothes and belongings. Uh, you have more storage space up here. This has the safe, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, right here you got a safe right there and of course you have more storage up there and again like i mentioned this is actually a, regularly a couch but this also converts into a couch bed which is really nice all right let's take a look here at the bathroom so you have the standard uh glass shower you got the one that looks like a capsule like you go in the space it's pretty cool um way better than a curtain right so definitely recommend um you know booking the ships that have these type of uh you know glass closings for your shower i think most real cruising ships have this nowadays but um, other cruise lines may not so just something to keep in mind getting the glass door for your shower is a must and again plenty of space and storage options there i am hey guys um you see right here and then also you have more storage up in here as well so for all your belongings all right let's see what else we have here you got your nice size TV. The TV does come out and uh, you can get a better facing towards the bed as you relax. I do want to point out a couple of uh, charging stations. Now, this room does not have USB outlets, right? So you have two of the US electrical outlets right there. And you also have one of the European outlets right here, but that is all I've seen. So two US outlets and one European outlet only. Next to the bed, you'll notice that they we have a phone here, but there's no charging stations here. There is a night light that you can access for your reading needs. And on this side, you'll also notice that there is just the night light area. There's nothing else, no USB ports or anything like that. But I wanted to give you a quick perspective as to how this room looks like from this angle. Again, this is an ocean view balcony room on board Navigator of the Sea. So now let's check out the balcony. Again, it is nighttime at sea, so you won't get to see the full view uh, of uh, from, from this room, but you'll still get to see how big the balcony is uh, on this um, for the ship. So it's really nice. Let's check All it right. out. So like I mentioned, it is dark outside right now, and pardon the, the wet swim suits, <laughs> swimwear. Uh, you can see it's pretty dark outside right now here in the ocean as we are heading back to Los Angeles. But here's the perspective of the balcony. It's a good size balcony. Again, this is room number 7628. Got a nice size. You've got two nice chairs, a pretty nice round table as well. Like there's your other chair right there. 
but um yeah that's and again you do have these balcony dividers as well so if you have like a connecting balcony room with your friends and family you can just ask your room steward to open those dividers and they will go ahead and open it for you so you can have an extended uh, balcony as well so it's pretty cool well there you have it guys that is an ocean view balcony room um one thing i probably noticed as when i started this uh room tour with our lovely tao animal friends this is something that uh, for folks who may not have been on cruises before uh, your steward may surprise you with uh, tail animals, right? So the first night we got like a dog uh, and then another night or tonight we actually got this elephant, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, this is a, uh, you know, a great um, little surprise that, you know, folks who go cruising love to get from the room stewards um, on your uh, next cruise. I also want to mention that they do have um, a mini cooler, like a little fridge here um, that you can store, you know, cold waters and stuff. But it's not like a true fridge, I believe, but it's like a mini bar, right? So you can definitely store some things in here to keep your items cool. All right, so there it is, guys. Like I said, this is an ocean view balcony room on board Navigator of the Seas. Um, I also want to mention that if you do want to have extra storage, there is a light here uh, that you can turn on right there. There's a switch. I should do that for you guys so you can see. Ta-da! There I am. And again, you have more storage here as well. So it's not a bad room. You know, we got a really good deal on this room, a balcony uh, for our four night cruise. But um, I highly recommend getting a minimum ocean view balcony on your next cruise aboard the Navigator of the Seas. Um, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, guys. Really appreciate your support. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions on this room. Until next time, guys, this is Cruising with JT. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. A special shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your additional support. And be sure to hit that subscribe button, everyone. Love to keep growing slowly but surely. Thank you so much for your subscription, and have an awesome day.